all right so now we've been able to separate all the um concerns into the different respective areas which is what we see here and i hope you actually appreciate how we came about all of these folders and you know files right many of the um courses or tutorials you watch some of them will just go straight to you know separating everything but i wanted to take you to step by step and show you how we arrived at this point and i hope you appreciate that all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to see how we can fetch a single task so in this one now we are getting all the task in an array of objects or a json data but what if we wanted to get just one specific task how do we go about that so that's what i will show you now and right now eh, the way we set up this thing we can work directly from just the routes and the controller so i'll just come to my controller first and i'll create a function it's going to be an asynchronous arrow function oh i think i have a shortcut for that controller function cf and i'll just call that get um task so singular so remember this first one is get tax plural this one is just going to be get task and here i'm just for now just leave it empty or maybe uh, i can just leave it empty and then i'll export it so let me duplicate this guy and just remove the s now that i've exported it i can come here and create a route all right so that route is going to actually be a get route because i want to get a single task so let me duplicate this guy so but the difference between this and this is first of all the function that we are firing we are firing get task function which I can import. I'll press Control and Space Bar, and then I'll just import it. So you see, it has added get task here. Now we are actually going to need to restructure this URL here. And how are we going to do that? We are going to add what is known as a params, just like in React in React application. You've seen params in React application. I expect that you know what params is in React application. We're going to add the params here. So here, after these tasks. I will now add a forward slash and a colon id that's how you add the params to your url so this is known as a route parameter right great so now i can leave this route file and then focus on my route controller so now in this route controller this function here get task let's open it up and let's do a console.log of um requests dot params so gradually our knowledge is expanding we've seen request dot method we've seen request dot body now we are seeing request dot params which is great we're making progress so now i'm going to save this guy just the request dot params i'll save it and then i'll come here and create a new route a new request sorry i would duplicate this get all tax so i'll just click on this arrow here and say duplicate and i'll just call it get a single task like so and then i'll click on create now to get a single task we're going to need to add a params and that params here we just represented it with this id so what that means is that in let's come back here we're first going to get a single task sorry get all task and I, let's say i want to update this first one task one i'll just get the id so this underscore id here i'll just copy this id okay it starts from six i'll copy that and i'll come back to my request get a single task request and then after this api forward slash task i'll say forward slash and then i'll paste that id this id these numbers here is going to re represent this colon id parameter that we added here all right so that's it basically now um if i don't want this this request to keep running indefinitely i would need to come here and just do a request.send so let me just do request.send and i'll just say maybe uh get single task task okay that's it let's save that and let's try out the request in insomnia and i honestly don't know why they gave this thing insomnia insomnia simply means is a medical term that means inability to sleep it's a sleep uh disorder anyway no problem get a single task and then i'll fire this guy Boom. 
Okay, so I'm getting a request, um, an error here. So let's just just wait, just see the error and make sure that we don't have any issues here. Okay. So request dot send. Oh, it should be response dot send. Apologies for that. So this should be response because you're sending a response back to the browser. I'm sure you noticed that when I when I did it. So. I'm a human so I make mistakes sometimes okay so let's okay great so now let's test it one more time send aha so you see here if you come here you see now we now have this ID and it just shows us the ID that we slotted inside of this URL and then you see here get single task great so what this means is that this is this ID is an object this is an object that contains the property of ID so if, if you just want us to be smart, eh, what we can do is we can just destructure it. So I'll come up here like this and then I'll say const and then I'll just destructure the ID property from the object and set it to be equal to request dot params. As simple as that. So now we can use this ID anywhere in the application. Great. So now let's make progress and just delete all of this guy. So delete and then I can then do something reasonable. All right, so now I'll introduce my try catch block. So I'll say try catch. And the first thing I want to do in the try is I want to get the ID. So I'll just bring the ID inside of the try block and then I'll just come down here. So now that I have the ID, I can now use this ID to find that specific task in the database. How am I going to do that? Well, I'll say const and I'll assign it to a variable task. Then I'll set it to be equal to our weight and then we're going to use the model task model dot there's a method there's a mongoose method that we can use it's called find by id so i'm just going to say find by id so i'm using camel casing that's how it is actually inside of this parenthesis you will now reference this id so i'll just come here and say id that's it basically now let's send the response back so I'll come down here and then I'll say response dot first I'll get the status and I'll set it to 200 uh, 200 dots and then I'll send the data so JSON and what's the data is saved inside the task um, variable here now ideally this should be fine let me come here and add the error message so the error message is just going to be same as the previous one so let me save some time actually i'll just grab this guy Control c and i'll paste that here great now but if you look at this let me save this and let's try it out so i'll come here let my server start all right great so i'll come here and fire this one more time aha so you see now i'm able to get that single task which is task one and this is it right here because we um return the json data back so that's why we have access to it here great but there's one more thing though what if this id does not exist like what if for some reason the id we are trying to get has been maybe deleted from the database or something we want to handle that case or that situation so you know what i'm going to do I'll come here and say if let's open a uh, parenthesis here and I'll just open that up so I'll say if not task in other words if this task could not be found in the database right what do I want to do so here I'm going to return something else sorry return and then I'll just say response dot status you know what let me just copy this okay let me just type it out i think it's better i type it out so response dot status when you cannot find something in a database not found that's a 404 status okay i'm sure you've seen that a couple of times on different websites then i'll now return some json data so the json and inside of this json I just want to have a message so let me use backticks and then i'll just have a message that says that the task was not found so i'll just say no task with id 
and then i can just take it a step further to specify the id from our params i'm going to use my string interpolation syntax that's why i used backticks and then i'll just put the id so here if the tax does not exist in the database it will throw a 404 error which is different from this server error it will throw a 404 error and say no task with id and then to specify the id let me just add colon here uh, yeah and then i'm going to go ahead and save now we're going to test the different use case so I'll, I'll come here oh okay i have to actually delete it from the database hmm, for us to test this guy so no problem let's actually go back to our browser and delete maybe task one from the database so i'll open this guy up and then i'll just delete task one so this is task one here i'll just come here and click on this delete icon so it will not exist in the database i'll delete that and delete voila so you see okay it's deleting okay great so you see we start from task two so task one is gone so i'll minimize this guy and let's try to find task one so this is it here i'll click on send aha so you see here we now get the error no task with id and then it specifies that id so you see the logic behind this line of code here right it's quite different from this one that throws a 500 error all right so that's about it for how to get a single task from the database all right thank you so much for watching this one i'll see you in the next one